In what ratio must three varieties of wheat costing rupees 32, rupees 44 and rupees 55 respectively be mixed so that the resulting mixture is sold for rupees 52.8 at a profit of 10 percentage. So basically there are three varieties of wheat. The costs are 32 rupees a kg, 44 rupees a kg and 55 rupees a kg. Then in what ratio should we mix these three varieties so that we get a resulting mixture which when sold at 52.8 rupees will give us a profit of 10 percentage. First and foremost, you have to find out the cost price of the mixture. What is given here, 52.8 is the selling price of the mixture along with the profit. Remember, we have to work on cost price only in such questions. See, costing 32, costing 44, costing 55. So for the three varieties, the cost prices are given. For the mixture also, we have to find out the cost price. So clearly, the selling price of mixture here is equal to 52.8. And the profit is equal to 10 percentage. I am sure you can use these two to find out the cost price of the mixture, which comes out to be 48. And you can do this calculation mentally basically. See 48 plus, I will split it as 48 plus 4.8. It is all about how you split the number. 48 plus 4.8. 48 plus 4.8 is 52.8 and 4.8 is 10 percent of 48. So profit is 10 percentage, 4.8 is 10 percent of 48 and total is 52.8. So clearly I can say the cost price is 48 rupees. So the cost price of the mixture is 48. Now look at the three varieties, right? The cost price of the first variety is 32, the cost price of the second variety is 44 and the cost price of the third variety is equal to 55. And the cost price of the mixture as you have seen is 48. Now if you observe the cost price of the mixture, the cost price of the mixture is more than the first variety and the second variety and it is less than the third variety 48 rupees is more than first variety 32 rupees is more than the second variety is less than the third variety that means the mean price the cost price of the mixture is more than the first two varieties and less than the third variety what you do is apply you know we will assume that the first and second varieties are being added in one is to one ratio let us assume that the first two varieties are being added in the I mean, see, both of them are on the lesser side of 48. So apply to those two, right? First two varieties are being added in the ratio of 1 is to 1. And find out what will be the mean price for these two, C1 and C2. So apply allegation rule 32, 44. Let us assume the cost price of the mixture is uh, some M. Ratio should be 1 is to 1. 1 is to 1. We are adding both 1 and 2 in the ratio of 1 is to 1, right? So what should be the cost price of the mixture? See, 1 is to 1 means what? The difference of M with 44 should be equal to the difference of M with 32. Which means exactly M should be between 32 and 44. Between 32 and 44. And what is exactly between 32 and 44? It is 38, right? 38 minus 32 is 6. 44 minus 32 is also 6. 6 is to 6 is 1 is to 1. So I can say M is equal to 38. I mean, apply the allegation rule. You get the value of M as 38. Which means if I take the first two mixtures, I mean if I mix the first two varieties, I will get a mixture at the rate of 38 rupees. Now the whole scenario changes. Now we will say there are only two varieties. C12 which is a mixture of 1 and 2 which is costing 38 rupees. Remember they were mixed in the same ratio, 1 is 1 ratio. And then there is C3 which is costing 55 rupees. And then there is a mixture which is costing us 48 rupees. Apply allegation rule now. So C12 is 38, mixture is, I mean C3 is 55, mixture is 48. So for 55 difference 48 is 7 is to 30 difference 48 is 10. Which means uh, C12 is to C3, the ratio should be 7 is to 10. But understand guys that the C12 has got 1 and 2 both in equal proportion. Like we have taken equal proportion, 1 is to 1. That means out of the 7 parts, 3.5 parts are C1 and the other 3.5 parts are C2. You are getting it? So I can conclude that C1 is to C2 is to C3 is equal to 3.5 is to 3.5 is to 10. Remember, I am just breaking 7 into 2 parts. 3.5 and 3.5. This is like C1 3.5. C2 3.5. Why? Because earlier we had concluded that C1 and C2 both are in the same ratio, 1 is to 1 ratio. Right? Both the you know cheaper varieties when compared to the mixture. So 3.5 is to 3.5 is to 10. Which is equal to what? 7 is to 7 is to 20. I mean getting it in a proper format. 7 is to 7 is to 20. So we can say that the price of the 
I mean the ratio in which the three varieties are mixed will be 7 is to 7 is to 20. But we don't have to do all this drama if the ratios are directly given to us. That's what I was telling, right? If options are given, see what will be what, what will be given in the options? The ratio. He's asking us to find out the ratio, right? So in the options also ratio would be given. So if options are given to us, we can simply verify with this ratio. What do you do? Like for example, let's do the option verification. What do you do? One option gives you 7 is to 7 is to 20, let's say. How do you verify whether it is correct or not? Just do one thing. Find out, I mean, take 7 to 7 is to 20, right? That will be one of the options. So 7 into 32, we are taking 7 kgs of first variety, 7, 7 into 32. Second uh, variety also 7 kgs, 7 into 44. Third variety also is 20 kgs, 20 into 55. Divided by total, how much is the quantity? 7 plus 7 plus 20. Find out how much is this. If this comes out to be 48, the mixture price, then that's the answer. Otherwise, go for second option, third option and so on. Whichever option satisfies 48 mix mixture price is the correct answer. Check this now. Check this. 7 into 32 is 210 and 224. This is 224, right? 224. 7 into 44. So 280 and 28, 308, <coughs> right? And uh, 20 into 55 is 1100. So 1100 plus 308 plus 224. So 1100, 1400, 1600. 1600 and 24 and 8 is 32. So 1632, right? Overall numerator is 1632. 1632 divided by what is the denominator? 7 plus 7, 14 plus 20, 34. 1632 divided by 34. How much will that be? Will that be 48? See how much is 34 into 50? 1700. 34 into 2? 68. 1700 minus 68? 1632. You're getting it. I will split 1632 as 1700 minus 68. 1700 is 50 times. 68 is 2 times. So 50 minus 2, 48. Yes or no? It is 48, which is what is given here. So your answer is 7 is to 7 is to 20. But really a lengthy process because options were not given to us.